Okay, kiddos, um, this is Miss Stimson here. I'm gonna teach you the proper way to use paint, whether it be watercolors or temper paint, as we have here. There is a way to keep each and every color in your palette clean and mess-free if you just follow these basic rules here. You want to have a cup of water. The cup of water is to rinse off excess paint from your brush. And it's also great for shearing out a color that you want to make lighter. Basically, the more water in your brush when you're painting, the lighter the color it will be. And the less water you have in your brush, the darker the color will be. So this goes for temper paint and watercolors. Um, let me reach over and grab watercolor paints in case you don't know what uh, watercolor paints look like. This is a watercolor palette. Um, but as you can see, these have not been taken care of. Like if it were me using these paints, friends, it would be pristine. That means clean as can be. So let's teach you how to properly use your paints today. The first thing you wanna do is decide what color you're gonna start with. Let's say I wanna start with the color red. Uh, I'm going to use my baby wipe to take out any excess water. And then I'm gonna dip into my red. Now watch this guys, I am not going to scoop my brush into the red. I'm not going to plunge my brush into the red. I'm just gonna take a little bit right on the very tip of the brush. So I'm just gonna go just like so, getting what I need. If this brush is too big and it applies the paint in too thick of a line, then I need to go to a smaller brush. So think about your brush size. So I'm gonna do um, a rainbow. Let's do a rainbow real quick. So I'm gonna start with my red. Okay, as you notice here, the paint is not moving very far, so I might need to get a little bit more water on my brush. I don't plunge my brush into the water either. I just tap my brush onto the surface of the water, pick up a little bit of that water, and voila, as the French like to say, I have a smooth application of red paint, okay? Now friends, you know, absolutely, you know, not to take your dirty brush, it has red paint in it, and go into orange or yellow or any of the other colors. What happens when the brush is dirty, friends? The other paints get dirty. The other paints get mixed up. Colors uh, that are mixed with another color turn into another color, and sometimes that color is not pretty. So what I need to do is I'm going to take my brush and swirl, okay? Tap, we're not slamming the brush, friends, we're not slamming it, and then wipe the brush on your baby wipe, okay? So again, it was swirl, tap, and wipe your brush, okay? Now my brush is ready to go into the next color. To make a rainbow, you're going to remember this acronym, Roy, G Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We don't have indigo here, but it goes from blue to violet in the tray. So now I'm gonna get some orange. Okay, that went on pretty nicely. Don't get lazy on me. We're gonna swirl, tap, and wipe off our brush. Swirl, tap, and wipe. And now I'm gonna get some yellow and so forth. Okay, so today as you're painting, I want you to remember that having your area nice and neat as I have my area here, not having things thrown all over the table that you don't need is very key in having a successful art experience in this room. You also want to remember to clean your brush in the water, swirl, tap, and then wipe on your napkin here, your baby wipe, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna do the whole rainbow because we don't have time, okay? But I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna mix colors, there is a way to do that as well. So let's say I wanna mix, um, yellow and orange together, yellow and orange. We are not going to mix them in this palette. You would need to get a tray. You would take out your first color, swirl, tap, wipe, swirl, tap, wipe. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this baby wipe is not gonna last the entire painting, okay? But it is. 
Now I'm gonna get my yellow. And now I can mix a color. I can make a light orange, yellow and orange, make a lighter orange, okay? And you can see this right here, how pretty that is. All right, it looks pretty similar to the other orange. Maybe I needed more yellow. Okay, let's try that. Let's get a little bit more yellow, swirl, tap, wipe off our brush. Let's get a little bit more yellow. Let's see what happens if we add a little bit more yellow to the orange. We should get what we call yellow orange, okay? Isn't that pretty? There's yellow orange for you. You can see that it's much lighter than this orange here in the rainbow. Okay, so basic mixing 101. Uh, put your colors that you want to mix on the tray, mix them together in the right ratio, the right uh, proportion, and then you can paint directly on your sheet of paper. So today is about free painting, guys. I'm not going to tell you what to paint. You have fun. You create something, um, but take your time. Make sure you're doing things right, and the paints will last um, like this and look clean all the way to the very end of the day. Hopefully, going from day to day, they'll stay clean too. Now with my white, I now can take this and wipe down my area before I leave Miss Stimson's class today. And I can also use this if I have any, you know, paint on my hands, I can do that as well and then throw the wipe away. All right, what if you have a spill, boys and girls? This happens all the time. It's not a big deal. I'm going to go and get a paper towel. I have a paper towel. I am going to lay it on top of the water and look how the paper towel is drinking that spill right up. You don't even have to touch it for a few minutes, just let this do all the work for you. Okay, I can fold this over here and get some of that. And I can fold this over here and voila, most of it is cleaned up. Okay, and you could certainly get another paper towel if you want, but basically laying the paper towel over the spill does the job a lot quicker than taking a balled up wipe or paper towel and doing it this way. This takes a lot longer. Um, your water and your brush go back to the sink. I'm going to take this, dump it, get new water and put my brush um, rinsed in, in the coffee container where the brushes are stored and then I'm good to go. All right. Hope you have fun painting today, guys. See you later.